Okay, well it is 6 o'clock, so we'll call this meeting to your order and we'll start with introductions from the right. Doris McMillan. Uh, Malcolm Augustine. Mike Thompson. Sam Sanifalaga. Okay, great. So we are uh, here for the meeting of the Cable Commission and uh, we can start with a, an a, approval of the minutes. Has everyone had a chance to review them? And, mm -hmm. Okay, can I get a motion to approve the minutes as they were submitted? I move that we approve the minutes as submitted. Okay, there's second. As submitted, second. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay, here none. We can move on then to the action items. Okay, we had one action item um, for Verizon to check service availability for pothole right. repair. Right. Um, Verizon did check service availability, and the only availability was for high uh, speed internet uh, to which Mr. Ford did not. Meaning like a DSL. DSL. He, he was. He, he already had it, and it wasn't fast enough. Right. For him. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, that's understandable. That that's as, as best that could be done. Okay. So, is that the only action item that we passed? That's the only action item. All right. So we can then move to the reports. All right. So we had um, sixteen um, closed calls, and we had seven open calls for the month of uh, May. Our first call is, these are Comcast, the following calls are for Comcast. Our first call it was open on May 30th, it's a billing. Um, Felia Sesker is the customer. The customer states that she has four boxes in her possession but being charged for six boxes. The customer also states that there have been five movies ordered via these boxes, via the boxes not in her possession. Um, Comcast <clears throat> reported that the additional equipment was removed from the customer's account and she was credited uh, uh, credited appropriately. They closed the complaint as of June 2nd. The next complaint date, May 14th. Uh, construction is the type of complaint. Ms. Sharon Simmons. Ms. Sharon Simmons, if you recall, was the lady who presented her complaint last meeting. Um, her complaint was that uh, Comcast damaged her driveway uh, during installation. Um, Comcast Government Affairs reported that Comcast had investigated the claim further and they did not believe that they had caused the damage to Ms. Simmons' driveway. Um, we requested that Comcast provide the customer with a closure letter on um, June 13th, and we did. We also sent her a closure letter. Okay. And so that means it's closed. Yes. Okay. Um, the third complaint was um, launched on May 15th. Um, repair. The customer's Benita Swan. The customer states that there are broken down utility boxes throughout the Royal Plaza community. The boxes need to be repaired or removed. Comcast reported that the pedal switch were replaced and secured and the exposed, exposed cable lines were buried. The complaint was closed as of June 17th. The next complaint was opened on May 28th. It was repaired. The customer is Shirley Randall. She states that there are open cable boxes, exposed wires throughout the community. Comcast reported that they were able to survey the area and secure any wiring and pedestals that were open or exposed and the complaint was closed as of June 3rd. The next complaint was open on May 15th. Um, it's a Verizon um, complaint and it's also a repair from Ms. Bernita Swan. She also states that uh, there are broken down utility boxes throughout their Royal Plaza community. The boxes need to be repaired or removed. And as of June 19th, the commission is waiting for an update from the local manager. So that's still open, that call remains open. And um, the next complaint was open on May 28th. It was a repair, Shirley Randall again. Customer states that there is a temporary black cable wire that Verizon has taped to the sidewalk. She states that this is a serious <coughs> tripping hazard. Uh, the temporary line was buried. The complaint was closed on June 6th. 
And lastly, this is an outstanding call that was open on December 26, 2013, repair for Verizon, Jackie Matheson of uh, Kings Grant Village 80A. Over 10 Verizon boxes were reported damage in the HOA area. They thought that they would have this, uh, Verizon thought that they would have this issue resolved by the end of May, but as of 620, the customer states that there are about five pedestals that are visibly deteriorated and need to be taken care of. She is disappointed that the local manager has not scheduled a walkthrough yet, and so the complaint remains open. And that's it. Okay, anybody have any questions on that? Mm -hmm. So when they say the local manager to do a walkthrough, what, what, which local manager? The really? Verizon local manager on their repair team. I see. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in terms of the woman who came here, um, I'm sorry? Ms. Simmons. Ms. Simmons. So she's just, I mean, she has no recourse? Nothing? Um, actually, what she was going to do, she was, what she decided to do was to go consult with her insurance company. Okay. Yeah. If I can, um, after Comcast did um, their investigation and actually did find substantial evidence where they were not at fault and mm -hmm. did not damage the property. Okay. And so we did share that information with her uh -huh. and it helped to assist her to go back to her home. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's good. Glad to hear that. Okay. Good. Any other questions or comments on that? No? All right. Do we have a, uh, anything in addition for the community television? To what you submitted? Okay, good. Um, and looks like we don't have anyone for public comment today. Also, looks like we do not have a. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it don't look well. No, not new. He's been here before. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Yeah, so, does the Comcast have anything to report? Uh, no, you don't. You do not. No, I have. Yes. Uh, I have a house on my uh, 30, and it may be. Well, Karen, two of you, I'm not sure who it is, 3025 Lake Street in Chevrolet. The, the, it's not a down wire. The wire is like no. the house is like a, no. a five feet. You, you say something before? Yeah. Has this been reported before? No, it has not. Okay. No, I just said it's like it's, it's at uh, probably maybe five and a half feet high mm -hmm. from the house. So it's not like hanging, but it's, you know, it's low. Low So we know it's a cable. No, I, I, I unfortunately can't recognize whether it's a Verizon or a Comcast cable. Okay, what was your address again? 3025 yeah. uh, Lake Street. Lake Avenue. Lake Avenue, right. Chevrolet. 20785. She approached me again this way. We'll make sure we get, <coughs> you get that address. Okay. Sorry. No. We'll look Okay. All right. Uh, anything from Verizon? I have nothing. Nothing tonight? Nothing tonight. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, then we can then move on to, with that, any commissioners' comments for today? No comments. Jim, no. All right. No, I, I would just have one thing. This, I guess, could be addressed to both Comcast and Verizon. Uh, we had a situation three weeks ago where apparently Almost four months ago, a, an auto accident took down a pole in the town of Landover Hills. Uh, now, I would say that the pet boss of Sheriff's Glen was trying to pet cocaine and put a new pole up, but because the wires weren't theirs, they did nothing with the old pole. So they put a new pole up you know, and strung that as far as their wires were concerned, left the other wires hanging. And, uh, and I don't know what the process should be for communication in a case like this, but uh, I spent two days on the phone trying to primarily get through, because we figured it was Comcast. Uh, and you know, the customer service area, you know, it was though, if I, I would have been better off if I had been calling one to tell them that my HBO was out. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally it took the secret email address to, uh, to get action. Now once I, sent that within 24 hours it was taken care of but the wires were hanging the pole itself the original pole <coughs> was just leaning precariously against the the new one strong storm winds would have taken the pole down into the middle of the street um, so i'm just curious i mean shouldn't there be maybe better coordination if pepco 
comes out and determines the wires aren't there so that the wires just don't hang for for three months? Or what is the procedure in that case? Are Actually, you being notified? I'll find out from Carmen. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Okay. okay. I appreciate it. Yeah. And I do have a question. I got a call, uh, I guess it was about a week ago, and I thought I knew the answer, but I didn't, so I referred them to uh, Ms. Broussard. But for people who have either Verizon or Comcast as their cable provider, but I mean their uh, internet provider, but they decide that they are cutting off their cable because it's prohibitive price-wise, and they want to still be able to get the basic channels, do they have to have any kind of a box? I know when we went from analog to digital, um, we got these little boxes that we, we, were, we received coupons and I think the boxes were $40. Are those boxes still available? Can we get them either through Comcast or Verizon? And what's the cost for them? And will that help you get the basic channels like two, four, five, seven, nine? Yes, we have basic uh, TV, video service. Okay. And they would have to call the office for their price. Okay. Yeah, there's a um, charge. But... Yeah. No, I know it's not free. Right. But what are the, I mean, oh. is it something well, you, you have, have to, to have get? A box. You do have to have a set-top box for our video services. Really? I mean, just to get basic cable? Local? Yes. Local? Yes. Uh, yeah. At, at this or point. For Comcast, as of June 3rd in Prince George's County, um, everyone had to have a set-top box. Before then, if you had limited basic service, you, you didn't have to have a box. Okay, well, let me ask you this, because I know in my house I have... Um, <clears throat> three boxes, but in my office, I don't have a box. I have one of those little things, and so, you know, the pictures come out looking a little crazy, little squares sometimes, and I want to go hang the, the antenna, the rabbit ears, you know, out of a window somewhere. Are we talking about, we're not talking about the same box. Sounds like an antenna you're speaking of. So to, to clarify the fixed selection, uh -huh. you would get a set-top box from Verizon to unscramble the channels. I'm getting channels, but I don't I don't have that same kind of, the box that's about this big? Yeah. No, I have a little bitty thing I paid $40 for, and I stick it, I've plugged it into my television, and I still have an antenna, and I'm able to get basic channels. So I'm saying, are those little boxes, I bought it from Radio Shack. So yeah, it's, it's, like an antenna. it's an antenna. It's an it's antenna. Not, it's an it antenna. Like you're, you're that's over air. air. That's over air. Oh, over air. Oh, that has nothing to do with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I only do TV. What do I know? Yeah. <laughs> that's over air. Over air. Yeah. yeah. Like which, which actually people should be aware of that the over air channels that are available. So okay. To your point. Okay. I mean, there are over air channels, and I do believe <coughs> that all of the local stations had to. Um, uh, provide a HD over air um, uh, as well at this okay. point. So it is important that people are aware uh, that they okay. can get an antenna okay, that and was, still receive it. They don't okay. have to, they was, and they need to be able to get those channels okay. which would be uh, close to likely uh, uh -huh. what the basic service would be. Okay. And then you're, but that's over air. Okay, yeah. so that was actually... That's what I told her. Oh, you did? She, yes. Okay. She just needed the antenna. All right. Yeah. And where do we get... Do we purchase the over-air boxes? I'm going to be very smart about this next time somebody asks me. Just get an antenna from Radio Free. Shack. It's just an antenna. Buy. Yeah. Best Buy, Radio Shack. You mean, Shack. when I think antenna, maybe I'm just old, but are we talking about antenna rabbit ears? Yes. Like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Which it may not had. look like that, but that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Which the young lady had, uh -huh. but... She um, had to. She was holding it. She had to hold it in a certain <laughs> area. She got channels. She got right. channels. But then the next day they were gone. So she was just tired of when oh. she called you. She was just tired of holding it. You oh. know, trying to find Figure the right out. position. Right. Okay. So this little box that I have that I paid forty bucks for with coupons from Radio Shack. What is that? That's probably probably is an antenna. It's, it's probably, probably a way to connect your TV yeah. to the antenna. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Probably the antenna. Okay. All right. All right. 
Well, then, why is it when I move the rabbit ears around, it changes the picture sometimes too? Because it's an antenna. Yeah. So I have two antennas? <laughs> yeah, so reception. that's probably connecting to your antenna, and then you're changing the reception based on where you're putting your antenna. See, that's why I'm in front of the camera. So <laughs> that's a good spot and just leave, why leave it there. Why did you buy the box? Yeah. Because I didn't want to put cable in my office. <laughs> I wasn't trying to give that you, other if company if all you, my money. If you have the antenna, why do you yeah. need the box? Well, when we were, because of the type of TV that I had, I see. Right. it's in an order old to TV. TV. Yeah. Order to I still can, they yeah. call that a Which is brilliant. Yeah, so that's what's okay. changing that, what's coming in from there to, okay. so that your TV right. can receive it. I can still play VHS. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> exactly. Okay. okay. All right, so thank you, everybody. Um, uh, our next meeting is July the 23rd, uh -huh. and I uh, appreciate everybody coming out. And we'll see you in a month. All Thank right. you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Thompson, I'll have Mr. Thompson, I'll have Carmen give an update on the process.